back to the channel of Pro Enzo Vids, and this video is regarding some signing news, and that is with um, former Manly um, halfback and hooker Cade Cast. So yeah, as we know, Cade Cast is um, off to the Super League next year. He has signed with the Wigan Warriors on a uh, two-year deal with a third um, year con with a third year option in, uh, in his favour, I believe. Or in Manly's favour, I'll get into that later though. But yeah, he's off to England on a two-year deal. And um, yeah, personally, you know, I'm just going to go through um, my thoughts on Kate Cuss going to the Super League next year and what this means for Manly and um, just, um, yeah, like what kind of loss he is to the club. But yeah, um, before I start, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you do like the video, um, subscribe to the channel because I'm, you know, I'm currently, currently at 1,000... No, 1,270 subscribers, so I'm hoping to, you know, maybe get to 1,300 in the next couple of weeks, so yeah, um, you know, I hope um, if you're new watching the channel right now, I hope you can uh, consider uh, subscribing, subscribing to the channel because that would be greatly appreciated, but to get into the video, so um, yeah, look, I think hey, Cuss, as we know, uh, he was never really going to get a fair opportun opportunity at Manly because I thought, you know, because they had Lachlan Croker playing hooker. Uh, obviously, Des Hasler and, and Manly, the club overall, obviously preferred uh, Lachlan Croker at hooker. And yeah, Lachlan Croker's done a great job a job at hooker this year in 2021. And I think, you know, he, is, he deserves to keep that position for a while, um, you know, until, I guess, yeah, until the whole Manasi Fine thing gets sorted or whatever. But yeah, for now, Lachlan, Lachlan Croker is obviously the best choice for the hooker position. And yeah, he deserves to keep his spot, definitely. Um, you know, disappointing for Kay Cuss because I thought Kay Cuss could have got a Jersey 14 spot mainly or could have still made a um, made a way to still stay in the team somehow because I think, you know, he's a first grader, Kay Cuss, not a reserve grade or nothing like that. I think he's a lot better than a reserve grader personally for Kay Cuss, but, you know, I guess we mainly have players like Carl Lord and Dylan Walker, Lachlan Croker, all occupying those positions where Kay Cuss might play and also in the halves, you know, got four and Sherry Evans already there. I guess that kind of pushes Cuss's opportunity to um, play some actual first grade football. So, you know, there was only one way for Kay Cuss to play actual first grade and consistent footy every week and that was by moving away from Manly to a new club. Um, but, you know, I was thinking that, you know, he could have went to maybe like a club that, like the Warriors or the Bulldogs or the Bulldogs because the Warriors and Bulldogs were two clubs and not the Wigan Warriors, by the way, the New Zealand Warriors. Um, they were two clubs I thought in the NRL that could use Cade Cast. Like I thought those two clubs would actually be really good for Cade Cast because they do have spots for um, him to actually be playing in, in the uh, starting 17 every week, but not to be, unfortunately. But... You know, he goes to England, and um, I'm very surprised about that because he's very young still. He's like 23 years old, and, um, you know, um, he's signing, uh, signing in the, going to England very early um, in his career. So, you know, honestly, I wish Cade Cuss all the best. I hope, you know, he goes really well over there, and he should because he's a good young player from what I've seen, and I think he provides a lot of um, a lot of uh, skill and quality whenever he plays, I feel like. And, yeah, he's a very likable player, Cade Cuss. I think, you know... A lot of Manly fans, and I think the club themselves had a lot of, a lot of respect for Kay Cuss. And, you know, I really respected Kay Cuss as a player. I think he's a fantastic player overall. Um, just a shame he didn't get enough um, fair opportunities at Manly. But, um, you know, at least he's going to get more opportunities over in England with the Wigan Warriors, who are a powerhouse club in the Super League. So, yeah, he should go very well over there, and I uh, wish him all the best. But, you know, when I think about it, it's not a big loss for Manly because Manly already have a lot of depth, um, luckily. But, you know, Kay Cuss, you know, in case Cherry Evans or Four never went down the halves again, you know, I think Kay Cusselby would be very helpful in that sort of area. But, you know, it'd be very interesting to see what Manly do now because I think Manly might have a bit of cash down to spend and maybe they'll sign a couple of players to finish their top 30 squad for next year. I'm not sure because Manly still have a couple of spots left for the top 30 come next year. So um, it'd be very interesting to see who they do end up signing and replacing Kay Cuss in that top 30 uh, squad for next year. Uh, and yeah, as I was talking about before, you know, the top, um, what's it called, the third option for Kay Cuss. So basically, Kay Cuss has signed for two years for the Wigan Warriors in the Super League. So he signed a two-year deal with um, the Wigan Warriors. But there is an option for Kay Cuss. Like, if he does opt to come back to Australia in, in, in his third year in England, um, Manly will have the first, um, you know, the first um, sort of, um, yeah, I guess he'll be, they'll be the first club to sort of give... Um, Kay Cuss an opportunity, opportunity to come back to Australia because, you know, if he does decide to come back to Australia in the, or in the NRL, uh, apparently Manly want to have the first uh, dibs. 
to sign uh, Cade Cust. So, yeah, I think um, after a couple of years, maybe after Cherry Evans or Ford have retired, you know, that could open up a spot for Cade Cust to come back more as an experienced player from the Super League and come back more with, um, I guess, a bit, a bit more knowledge in the game and a bit more experience in first grade and all that. So that's when Cade Cust might come back to Mealy in 2024, I believe. So that's in another three years, yeah. So we'll have to wait and see what happens. But, yeah, honestly, right now, all the best to Cade Cust. And I hope you guys really well in England. Uh, but everyone, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in another video.